The following video is brought to you by Amp Probe. Here's the story. My wife goes to Walmart. I'm sitting in the car with the baby. Of course, the baby's out there crying and stuff. Whatever, that's fine. Babies cry. And it takes her forever. And let me tell you something. When women go into Walmart, which I didn't even want to go to, by the way. We went to have pizza at the Pizza Village in Beulahville. It's just as metropolitan as it sounds. We went to have pizza at Beulahville. We're coming back, and I say, we can go have pizza, but because I have work to do, we need to go there, eat, and come back. No stops, no bullcrap, no nothing. You guys already know that this plan went to hell in a handbasket because my wife's like, well, we need to stop at the Walmart and pick up X, Y, and Z. So I'm like, okay, I know my plan's already shot. So you only need to pick up X, Y, and Z, then we're good, right? Yeah, sure, I'll just run in. I'll just run in. You can stay in the car. Like, that's some sort of reward or something. Okay. Okay, that sounds great. I'll stay in the car. I'll sit out here in the little side parking lot. Me and little Toots, Jackson Systems, will have a great time watching him scream, waiting for his mother to come back. Sounds good to me. So she goes into Walmart, and I don't see her for one half hour. I would have finished this shopping. We're talking about picking up some drinks. I would have finished this in six minutes if there's a line at the register. And here's a story I get when she comes back. And she always starts it like an accusatory way, like it was my fault. I knew you are going to be angry, but I, but I had to do something. And something happened in here, and I know you won't believe me. It's always something to do with me, right? I'm a non-believing, angry person, guys. So she comes back in the car and says, here's what happened. I got into the line. I had my stuff, which is like 18 items more than I said I was going to get. But whatever. That's neither here nor there. She's in the line with a little pregnant cashier. And the pregnant cashier is kind of moaning about hurting. Her belly hurts and stuff like that. And my wife, Melissa, says, you know what? Whenever I was pregnant with our first son, Andrew, my belly hurt. And later on that day, we had the baby. I was predicting it. Because later on in that same checkout session, the clerk's water broke right there in the Walmart, right there on the floor. I can only imagine the face of the clerk, mouth agape, going, well, this never happens. So that was a really good excuse. And I tell my wife, if you lied about this and you spent time in the store looking at clothes and stuff, I'm not going to tell you what's going to happen. It's going to be bad. It's going to be bad. But that's a good excuse right there. What are you going to say? The water break? Can't argue with that. I thought that was kind of funny. Now, what we're going to do today here on this show, I have a few new segments that we're going to try out. We're going to try to give away two more prizes for our refrigerant giveaway. I have my you won sounds and you didn't win sounds. Here it goes. Here's the one sound. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. You're a big winner on HST Radio. All right, that's good. Had our new show open. You have outro music, have the Friend of Pain in the HVAC News segment. I don't know if we're going to use all those, but I have an extra slot here. If you guys are wondering, I have my phone plugged into the mixer board, and I'm using an app called Boss Jock to play these clips. It's pretty cool, actually. So if you need something like that, check out Boss Jock. Did I say that right? Boss Jock, baby. Boss Jock. Okay. Check our text here. Yes. My wife scared her into shooting out a child. That's right, Juan. Chris is asking, are we live right now? Is it a recording? No, we're live, baby. We're live. It is live. I know it's hard to tell, though. There's no way really to keep reminding everybody. I tell you guys, if you're on the text list, which hopefully all of you were, if you're not, all you have to do is send me a text. I'm going to say the number really low. Here comes the number. Get your pad and pencil. Here it comes in three, two, one. 910-970-0774. You call that number to talk on the show where we have our call-in parts. You can also text that with your name and I want notifications to get notified. We have like 76 guys on the notification list right now, so that's really awesome. I always try to put the link on Facebook, but Facebook sucks. So if you really want a quick link, do the text list, man. Now, we just released the brand new HST Radio Android app as well. So let me see how many of you guys are listening on it so I can check my little demographic here. It doesn't tell me your name or anything because I kind of freaked Ralph out by telling him that I could see him. And it was actually true. He was listening at the time. Oh, here's a please. Now, Juan, 
are you saying please put me on the list or put it in Spanish? <laughs> I don't know Spanish. <laughs> That's funny. And Alexander says the text list rocks. Now, here we go. We have a lot of guys listening right now, and I see a lot of you are using the brand new HST Radio Android app. It just came out last night. So please, if you have an Android device and you're using Chrome, there's no reason to use Chrome. I think most of the guys on here right now looks like they're using either the iOS app or the Android app. I see two people using Chrome. So if you're using Chrome on your telephone or a tablet or something like that, you can get the app. If you're on your desktop computer, then yeah, Chrome's a good way to go. I'll have to sign up for some more services on the desktop if you want to listen that way. Not a whole lot of people do that. I have a little pie chart here and there's just a tiny sliver of desktop people total. So we talked about my wife at Walmart, which is not HVAC related. The new Android app. Check that. Let's see. What else do we got here before we get into the meat and potatoes? I saw, I got an email from iConnect, North Park Innovations. They are having some sort of sale for the fall. So if you want to get an iConnect or iConnect stuff, they have like a 15% off thing going on. That's pretty cool. I ran some prices. I wanted to make sure it's not one of those things where, you know, if you go to the site instead of going to like a tool store, if you actually go to the actual manufacturer site, a lot of times the prices are elevated beyond what a regular tool store, like comparing True Tech to North Park. Now, North Park's offering 15% off. So with that 15% off and free shipping, which is an option from what I could tell, you actually save a good bit of money. So if you want to get iConnect, go right over to the North Park site. Sounds like a good deal. One of the things I'm going to do is I'm going to read. <laughs> I'm going to read some of these follies that contractors make. I looked up the NC licensing website and I forgot that they list like some of the screw ups that contractors make. So I'm going to read one of those because I actually knew the guy. So in fact, let's go ahead and read that now. It'll be a lot of fun. I'm not going to say his name because that's not cool. Let me see here. I know I had him down here somewhere. It was really, really funny. Okay, here we go. From the big town of Winnebo, North Carolina. And it's funny because I know this guy. I know this guy personally. I've seen him at the supply house. Winnebo is about 45 minutes from my house. I've done jobs in Winnebo. Here it goes. Finding of failure to permit a project to complete the job Failed inspections for multiple deficiencies and violations. Extracting payment. This is my favorite part. Extracting payment from homeowner early than contracted and an altercation with the homeowner requiring the police to be called. This really happened. I looked, all the, I looked at the whole list, guys, and this was the best one I found. There's a formal hearing. Actually, it says a formal hearing on 1917. I think that's a misprint. Respondent's license suspended for 30 days on condition of repayment of property owners. Respondent admonished of importance of effective communications with customers and inspectors in avoidance of confrontation. Board has received confirmation of repayment of property owners and satisfaction. I don't know if that was written correctly either, but I just read it exactly like it was written. Here's another funny one. Because... I know this guy too. <laughs> and I just saw this. I didn't see this one before because this is straight out of Wilmington, guys. This is pretty good. <laughs> this, is, this is actually pretty funny. If you are me, guys, just imagine yourself. Imagine you knew a guy for years and years and years and he turned out to be a flake and then you saw this. This is funny. Allegations of heating contracting without a valid license. Judgment of permanent injunction filed 521-18 in joining the defendant from engaging in business as a plumbing or heating contractor until properly licensed to do so. This is really rich. Because when you know the guy, it's just so much funnier. Okay. Well, these guys really need to get their stuff together. Let me tell you what. I see your text, guys. I will tell you. Actually, I'll look at the text in just a minute. In fact, let's look at them now because that's all I'm going to read from this list. I'll probably do this on every episode. This is so funny. <laughs> We have one asking, how do I connect iManifold to MeasureQuick? You know, I don't know that. I don't know that at all. We have Fred saying, I approve the app. Very nice, Fred. And Ralph sent me a text I can't answer on the air, but no is the answer to your question, Ralph. And Alexander says he's got some similar ones to tell. I bet I bet all of us have some of this stuff to tell. <laughs> it's just so funny. 
it's just a trip. You know, you gotta know the people on the list. It makes it more interesting. Not that I've not done something wrong. Did I say that correctly? Not that I am an angel out there for sure, but it's just kind of funny, especially the guys that like don't get permits every single job and do stuff really bad on those jobs. There's one thing about not getting a permit. Have I done a job without getting a permit? Well, I'm not going to say. But if I were to theoretically, the air quotes are flying, I would do just the same job I would have done if I got a permit. Air quotes. Okay. But sometimes that's just not the case across the board, guys. <laughs> that's great. Now, speaking of this sort of thing, I'm going to talk for a second about side jobs. Because side jobs is one of the most important subjects in our industry because everybody who's ever worked for anybody has either done a side job or been asked to do a side job or been in a position to decide whether or not they're going to do a side job. So I read up, I think it was on the news, our friends at the news with the 40 under 40, you know, the one I didn't make, the news. Well, they're still a really good publication. Guys were talking about how to structure side jobs within a company. Because guys are going to want to do side jobs. So here's a couple great ideas that I read about. I thought it was really good. And I'll get to your text as soon as we're done, guys. Number one is a discount program. Where if you have family or friends that need a system changed out or work done, the company will give them a substantial discount. 20% for family is the example. And 10% for friends. That way you don't put your techs in a position to have to go do something on their own. Because more than likely they don't have a license either. And they're going to be asking you to buy them a unit so they can install it on their own, which is technically illegal anyway, at least in North Carolina. You have to have a licensee overseeing a job. And if you're not on the job as a licensee, your guy on the job has to be a journeyman. That's the law here, as I understand it, unless it's changed in the last couple of years, but I'm sure it hasn't. This is a way to put the company behind the job, have it be legitimate, and still give the people a discount where they can feel like you took care of them above and beyond a normal customer. The second one is you have your guy work for free with discounted materials and the company still stands behind the job. So your guy can go out there and he just pledges his labor because it's his friends and family. He should be doing it for free. If he wants a discount, he can start that by discounting 100% of his own labor, save them that money, and then the company will purchase and sell him the materials at a discount and they'll stand behind the job just like a normal company would, and I'm guessing a licensee would have to go out there. And this is their two suggestions. That really improves family relations. Just think about it. It puts you in such a bad position. Everybody's gotten a call from their daggone family members, usually on the weekend or in the middle of the night, asking you to come do something at their house for which they either won't pay for one or will pay you about 30% of what you deserve. So this way you can run it through the company Get your hands off of it. You can still do the work for them and be the hero, but the company will take care of the billing and take you out of that part of it so you're not in an awkward position. So I thought that was pretty good. Little side job information right there. I thought it was a pretty good article. So let's see. Now we've gone through the iConnect special. The code for that, which I don't know if I mentioned actually, is 2018 season end. So when you go to the iConnect North Park website, you want to buy your $1,000 iConnect or $1,500 iConnect set, Use the 2018 season in special. We'll have to check and see how North Park iConnect works with Measure Quick because the iConnect app, they said it was kind of hinky here the last few months. I don't know if that's been ironed out or not. If it has been ironed out, that's a pretty good app right there. I mean, you don't need Measure Quick if you have that app. Measure Quick might offer a slight improvement, but you don't technically have to have it. But I know Measure Quick was working with it. You know, if some of these people were listening, some of these big wig, well-to-do people, they could call into the show and let us know these things. We're going to have to hit them up. If you know somebody, one of these big wigs, you send them an email. Say, y'all need to listen to HST Radio. Call in so we have some good information. That's what I'm saying. All right, let's see what we have here. Now, here's what I want to do. We worked through most of this list. I don't know how long have I been on the air here. About 20, 25 minutes. Okay. Well, we're almost through a full show already then. Here's what I'm going to do. We're going to do... The refrigerant identification game. We have two more prizes. So you can pick a shirt or any refrigeration technologies product, whatever. Wet rag, dry rag, big rag, small rag, big blue, small blue, whatever you want. All you have to do is call in 910-970-0774 and identify the refrigerant by the trade name. 
All right, so as soon as you're ready, just call in and you can win yourself something. I'll read some text until we get a call. Let's see. Juan's telling a story here. And let's see. Up oh, here we have. Here we have one. Domino's Pizza. Hey. Hey, what's happening? Extra large with pepperoni. Extra large with pepperoni. Maybe that'll be about $9. I'll give you my PayPal address, and I will run it by your house later today. <laughs> Which is where? Let me see if I can identify. Which uh, are you using the app to listen to this? I'll listen to the app. Yeah. All right. Let me see. Since you sound very southern, let me guess where you're at. I don't remember if you told me or not. Are you the one in I'm New not York? Southern. <laughs> I know. I'm kidding. Are you in New York? No. New York. Oh man. Are you in Illinois? You don't see my phone number? Oh, let me see. Let me see. No, I can't see it now. Where you at? Oh, I gotta give up. Florida. Oh, I know I see you down there. I got the demographics map up here, and I do see one in Florida. Yeah, it just says Florida, U.S. It doesn't say exactly where. Yeah, I was, I was uh, screwing around with Ralph. I told him I could see where he was listening, what device he was using, to kind of freaked him out. <laughs> but I can't see exactly where. I just see a general area. So, all right, all right, you ready to play and win here? Yeah. Okay, I got my sound effects already, and I got my. Suspenseful music I'm going to play. Here, let's do it. All right, here we go. Can you identify what MO29 is? We identify what's in it or? What the actual R number is. But you have to identify what the R number is. I want to say this is a shot in the dark. R seven eighty nine. The guess. Say it again. Seven eighty nine. No, no, no. That is incorrect. I'm sorry. I got to play our incorrect song now. I'm sorry about that. Here we go. So, I'm gonna have to get another caller, John. You missed that one. Sorry. It's all right. <laughs> Call back and try again. All right. <laughs> All right, bye. All right, guys. Can you identify that gas? The first one to call in wins. Turn up the phone line. Okay, let me turn up the phone line a little bit. Thank you, Justin. All right, let's see. The first one to identify what MO29 is and calls in. Hey, all you got to do is Google it now, guys. Just Google it. I know you got to have it here. Come on now. Chuck E. Cheese. Hey there, what's going on? Hey, what's happening? I'm about to turn this one up quite a bit here. Let me see. Turn up your phone line here. All right, can you I hear me? Close you from the road. Yeah, I can hear you from. It's very quiet for some reason. Let me see if I can turn it up a little bit. How about this? Well, that's a little bit better. Okay, all right. So, do you know what Mo Twenty Nine is? If I'm correct, it's Four Twenty Two D. You are exactly correct. Four Twenty Two D is the right answer. So I don't know if I already have your address, but if I don't, just text it to me anyway. And which prize yeah. do you want? Uh, I'm a short man, so uh, actually, you know what I'm interested in? I'm interested in that that putt you have, the, the one full uh, heat resistant. Um, oh, wet rag. I think, yes, that. Wet rag. I'll write that down right now. Super. All right, well, text me your address, and I'll send you out some wet rag. Not a problem, not a problem. Cool, man. Thanks for nice playing. Favorite from you. No problem. Take care. Bye. All right. Well, that was pretty cool. Okay, we gave away one prize there. I turned that phone up all the way. It was really, really quiet. So I don't know if that's going to be the case every time. It may be, maybe not. If you guys can hear it okay, let me know. And you can call in because we have one more prize to win. There is one more. You could be the lucky winner. We got guys listening. Let me read it again. From New York down to... Virginia, over to Chicago, Kansas, Los Angeles. Hey, Juan. Dallas. Hey, Clint. Florida. Hey, John. So everybody's out there. We just lost one. I think we just lost Ralph. He's not listening anymore. I can see you. Oh, wait. No, no. Here's why he's not listening. He's calling in. Dominoes. What's up? Hey, what's up, Ralph? What's going on? What's the latest in the, in the neighborhood? 
Um, hold on, let me turn up your phone a little bit. You're not using Bluetooth or nothing, are you? No, what's the latest in the neighborhood? Well, the latest is you had to identify this refrigerator to win something. Oh, really? Are you going to be able to do uh, it? Maybe. We'll just take it. You are, you are a trainer, Ralph. Yeah, but, but we don't talk about drop-in refrigerators. Yeah, you definitely don't talk about this one I'm about to tell you. <laughs> All right, go ahead. This is the hardest one. Do you have something you could Google nearby? <laughs> maybe, maybe not. Okay. Go ahead. Let me turn on my suspenseful music. All right, here we go. Uh, HP 80. HP 80? HP 80. Huh. Come on, Ralph. Uh, you can do it. Google something. Guess or something. Would that be 402A? You did Google. You rotten, rotten man. Now, all right, here we go. Ready? Here you go. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. You're a big <laughs> winner on HST Radio. Congratulations. It's, it's, it's a replacement for 502. Yeah, yeah, you're saying that so matter-of-factly. When have you ever had to use that? Uh, it was part of a, a thing that I was reading. <laughs> That's just so wild. Well, you won, man. What would you like as a prize, Ralph? I don't know. If, uh, when I get off the phone, the next caller, whatever they want, give it to them. Well, there is no next caller because the show's over. Oh, what? Yeah, we've been on the air for 30 minutes. Let's see. Uh... Send Isaiah anything? I sent him a little bit of stuff a couple months ago. Do you want me to send something to him? Yeah, send him some wet rags. Yeah, wet, wet rag is popular. Whatever you didn't send him, send him that. Okay, well, I sent him some little tools and stuff like that. Okay, I'll send him some wet rag then on behalf of Ralph. We have two yep. wet rag winners in one. Sorry, John Pearson. At least I got to play my Mario sound. <laughs> oh, man. So what um, else is going on? Well, nothing else is going on here. I'm about to go up, and evidently i got to talk to Landon about something because I just got a text from my wife that says, we need to talk to Landon. I don't know what that's about, but it's never good. Uh-oh. Yeah, Uh-oh. it's very sad. It's very sad. Time for that talk. <laughs> I don't think it's that one, although we've sort of already done that. Uh, well, I took care of Andrew, but you know, Landon, he's too young for it, really. But I've given him some precursors. William Creasy. Look at that. Someone's calling my personal phone. What? <laughs> I don't know. It's you got to call the other line. Did it say something about being creepy? It said it's William Creasy calling. Oh, sorry about that, William. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Let me turn that one down because we're about done for this. So, Ralph, what are you working on today? Uh, just just answer phone, you know, phone calls. Oh, how many calls you got today? Uh, a couple actually. Um. But if anybody's in the Atlanta area, our, our first class is going to be the 12th and 13th. So, 12th and 13th for what? For our first Mitsubishi class. Will you stay on the line for one second, Ralph? I'm going to do something. We're just going to we're just going to kill some time real quick. It's so quiet on that. It's so quiet on that line. Okay, go ahead which, now. I fixed which it. Which line? The, the line you're talking on, I had to fix it. I had to turn it up a little bit. Oh, I'm sorry. No, it's not your fault. It's it's the phone. I had to turn it up one notch here. It's all good, man. It's good. It's good, bro. It's good. It's good, man. Hey, it's cool, man. Cool. Don't, don't worry about it. Oh, that's awesome. <laughs> so, yeah, so like I was saying, our first class can be the 12th and 13th. If anybody's in the Atlanta area. But they will have to register through Mitsubishi's website. So. Okay, well, where do you go? You go to the website, and there's like a button right at the top of the screen that says register for training or something? Yeah, it's uh, you have to get in touch with a, uh, a Ferguson sales guy because they'll have the, the, the key, you know, for our class. Okay, I got gotcha. you. Key codes for our class. Because Mitsubishi only lets you have 15 people in the class. Oh, well, that's good, though, right? So you can have nice well, 1 to 15 ratio. Well, yeah, it's good because when you're doing the service part of the class and you have to work on the units, <clears throat> it's a lot easier to control 15 people than it is to control 30. No, I agree with you. I agree. You know what I mean? That's great, though. So, so just a general purpose class, nothing too crazy? No, it's, it's the two-day, the two-day. 
two day install and service class. Okay. Cool. Is that going to be like your main class you teach over and over again? Yeah. Okay. So yeah, and I'm trying to actually set up a like furnace heat pump kind of class going into winter. A furnace heat pump, and what about Bosch? Oh my God, do we have to talk about Bosch? Uh, well, I brought it up though. I actually can get the uh, Bosch has a trainer, or our our rep for Bosch. They actually have a guy on staff that that travels around, and I can actually bring him in. But if I need to go to like a company or something like that, I can I can give the presentation. Cool. All right. All right, Ralph. Well, I'm closing this bad boy out. You're a huge winner. Uh, we have another AK Van. We'll call him by his call name. AK Van won as well. John Pearson, try again next time. We had a few callers. William Creasy, Mike Platko, and Alexander tried to call, but other people were on the line. I'll be back tomorrow later in the day to do the same thing all over again. Hey, Ralph, why don't, hey. why don't you do your special ending before you hang up? All right. Well, hey, if you, if you notice, I called your 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 shop talk phone. It's uh, calling your personal. That's so you good. Have to make the switches. The, hey, that's good because the other one's plugged in for the sound effects. So I'm glad. Oh, okay. See. All right. Well, well, Zach. With that, I bid you farewell and adieu. Excellent, Ralph. I'm going to hang up on you, and I bid you farewell and adieu. All right. <laughs> Bye. Later. That's Ralph Wolf. He's going to take us out of here. I'm going to play the outer song, Leaving Us Behind. Tomorrow, I'll be back in the afternoon. I do have to leave and go into town in the morning, but I will be back for the show around the same time. Again, if you have any suggestions for topics, just send them to hvacshoptalk at gmail.com, or you can text them to the studio line, which is 910-970-0774. Anytime, text me anything you want. If I forget to answer you, just text me again. I don't mind. I forgot something. Kuiper sent me a message. I forgot all about it. He texted me again. I got right on it. So please do that. If you want to call into the show or you think you know a guy that should call into a show, maybe someone needs to call in and talk about the iConnect. Maybe one of the manufacturers you know about. Tell them about the show. Tell them they can call in too. Download the app. Get on the notification list by texting that same number, 910-970-0774. Just put your name, and I want to be notified, and I will notify you about 30 minutes in advance of when we go live. I'll be back tomorrow, guys. Had a lot of fun. Maybe we'll do some more HVAC news and read about some more HVAC degenerates on the next episode of HST Radio. What's funny is the thing's not playing for some reason. (laughs) Why is it my app's not working? Hey, that just killed the whole mood of this whole thing. We need to redo that whole part right there. Here, let's do this again. Technical difficulties. Let's see what happens. And I'll see you guys on the next one.